Okay, so this is the first for my channel, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's a single board computer with six HDMI outputs. It's from Mekatronics, and I'll go through some of the specs in a minute. But if I move my mouse around, you can see on my 4K TV at the top here, uh, I have a mouse, and I have an app here, which is for playing videos. But let's just go to the right, and you can see that it comes to this display. I could have uh, plugged this in better. To the right again, and it's on this display. And keep going right, it's on my Dope Display laptop, which is a laptop with an HDMI input. Keep going right, and I'm now on my 1080 monitor, my LG, and then my Acer monitor. So I can basically use this Android desktop uh, to be able to launch things. It does actually launch the video side itself. Now obviously this isn't a normal usage SBC. This is definitely aimed at commercial use. Imagine being able to play 1080 videos six 1080 videos on six displays but from one low powered uh, passively cooled device it is incredible so if i click on this app at the top here which does automatically launch uh, when you start the device up now i'm not sure if one of my videos doesn't play properly uh, or it doesn't like it but basically i've just put six 1080 videos on there and if i press enter you'll see that they all play at the same time and it even gets sound so that's the sound coming through my TV. And uh, these are only short videos just to test it really, but it's just amazing that a single board computer can power these and they look good as well. They look nice and crisp, but I don't know what the resolution is. I've, I haven't really got a way of, of knowing that. You can see it's got to the end of one of the videos, I think. Uh, I think probably the Monaco one is a very short video, uh, a GoPro video of mine, but some of these are off TV. Um, I've got some, you know, movie trailers and things like that. But yeah, this is super impressive. Not everybody's going to need this, but for commercial use, I can I can see why they've done it. But it also supports Linux as well. Uh, so I'm going to put Debian on this device and have a play around with that. So let's flash a different OS to this. I'm going to use Windows for that. And uh, let's pop a USB cable in here. And this bottom one here at the front is the one that you use to flash the device. So with all rock chip devices, you need to install a driver to recognize them within Windows, uh, and that's available on the Mekatronic site. But also the RK Dev tool, so this is for writing an image to all rock chip devices. And uh, if we double click on it, you can see it comes up with all these options. I've got all of these ticked, uh, and I wanna go to upgrade firmware, and I've already downloaded Debian, so I can click on the firmware and navigate to that folder. So I've got an R58HD folder here. Click on the Debian image and hit open. And you can see it says no devices found at the moment. Now the advice I had from Ecotronics was to press the recovery button, uh, which is the one on the right hand side. And then while you're holding that, press the reset button. So I do that. And I do get found one ADB device, but I need it to say loader. Now I played around with this a lot and eventually I found the way to do it on this one is to unplug, press and hold the recovery button. So for me, that's the one on the right and then plug it back in again whilst holding that button and then release. And this is what we want, found one loader device. Now we can press the upgrade button and it will start flashing the device. Once it's finished flashing, it will just reboot and show the operating system you've just installed. And this is crazy, I haven't set it up properly yet, but this is the Wi-Fi box. So on the dope display, bottom left of your screen, if I drag it to the left, we drag it to my TV. Uh, and then if I drag it left again, you can see it's on my right hand normal monitor. But this is actually a split screen. You can see Debian just underneath it is uh, is written Deb and Ian and that's because this is a shared like a wide screen and if I go left again uh, you can see it's on my little 11 inch monitor there uh, and I can actually drag that left again and you can see it's on the YMAX exit display now obviously you could probably set this up much better than this uh, and also orient the monitors better but how cool is that that you have Debian on six displays and uh, the top one is a 4K display, and as you can see, it looks really sharp and really clear. All running from this one low power consumption 
passively cool device. It, it's just super impressive. I, I just think it's amazing. So if I press the Windows key, it comes up on this bottom right hand uh, monitor. So if I grab Firefox, where's that going to show up? So this is launching Firefox for the first time. Now I, I'm sat quite a bit away because I'm off the camera. Let's try and get it onto the big TV. Uh, here we go. And does Windows snapping work? Yeah, it does. So let's go for, or let's just go to YouTube. It's already on there. There we go. Now what's going to happen if I, actually let's do uh, my 4K video, 4K HDR. And let's see if that's going to play. It's not as smooth as the Android is for the multi-video. I guess the Android has been uh, more optimized. I think it's early days for all this. Yeah, this is 480. Obviously, the this processor can do way more than this. Let's get that down into a window and let's drag it across all the systems. <laughs> Video, oh, that's as far as it goes that way. And then this way, just amazing. Just the fact that it can be done. Because obviously, if you're using this in a commercial uh, basis, uh, obviously you'd use the Android for the video uh, at this stage. But if you just wanted to show images and be able to control those images and uh, I guess menus in, uh, if I think of my local fish and chip shop, it's got probably four or five screens uh, and it would be useful for that sort of thing. So with Android, I couldn't tell what display the monitors were at, but you can see here, number one, my TV is showing at 1080. Number two is also at 1080. Number four is at 4K. No, not 4K, but 3840 by 1080. Uh, so 4K width, but not height. And three is also 4K width, but not height. So it's like half height. So what well, you can see, it's a very long, thin display. So now I can drag it down and across. So that's spanning three monitors now and then across to the right. Obviously you could set this up much better, but that's so cool. Excellent, right, I'll show you a bit of the hardware. So power supply is a 60 watt, so it's a 12 volt, five amp, and it's got a kettle lead connection and quite a nice thick barrel jack. Here it is in its casing. So you can see there's some industrial ports here. Uh, we've also got reset and recovery so you can poke things into that. Obviously, I had the case off uh, in the video earlier on. Uh, we've got an audio port as well. Two USB 3, two USB 2. We've got a SD card slot and also a SIM slot. And this is a 4G SIM slot and a micro switch power button. You can see it's got these two lips on either side so you can secure it down with screws. Uh, but also it's got four rubber feet on the base as well. If we spin it around, this is the bit that's unusual. Uh, so obviously those six HDMI's that I've talked about, but also HDMI in. Uh, if you have a look at some of my other Mechatronics videos, uh, other boards have supported HDMI in. So you can basically put an input through this operating system and two gigabit LAN connections. Now, if I spin it around, I haven't got any screws in this, so I can just pull this off and slide this off. I mean, it is really solid. Uh, it's you know it could really take a bash and still be all right in this casing. So we've got the heatsink here covering up that nice powerful 3588 processor. We've got an NVMe slot here as well, M.2, 2280 size, and you can see the two cables going to the Wi-Fi 6 antennas. Well, I wanted to try the Wi-Fi, but I can't get it to connect to my network, uh, and I never usually have a problem. The signal strength is good. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't want to connect, so I'm going to have to plug in an Ethernet cable. So let's call up Firefox and go to the Mechatronics site. So I'll put a link in the description for the website if you want to know more about this board. But uh, yeah, if you're, if you're interested in running six displays, you might not have loads of other options. Okay, so uh, thanks to Mechatronics for sending this board to test. Hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.